So I often hear from people who live in cities that they worry are too far gone for bike friendliness, that they spent too many years building only for cars, and that they'll never catch up in pedestrianization and livability and bike friendliness. And I've often wondered if this is the case. So today, I'm in a city that kind of personified that, at least here in Canada. That's the city of Toronto. I'm walking down Queen Street in Toronto right now, and for years, Toronto was set back in its path towards bike friendliness. A lot of that was due to the, to the reign of former buffoon mayor Rob Ford, who ripped out bike lanes and basically set things back almost like a lost decade. But since COVID, the city has really been trying to catch up. It's been putting in bike lanes, uh, testing things, and really the signal has gone out that Toronto is back. So I found myself in Toronto and I thought I'd check out some of these new bike lanes. And I thought I'd do a bit of a react video. You know how YouTubers often do these react videos? Well, I'm doing a bike lane react, which may be the most urban nerd thing I've ever said. This is a bike lane react video to see if Toronto really is making inroads after a lost decade. Torontonians which of these new bike lanes I should check out and a few people suggested the one on Adelaide which is what I just rode on it's right here beside me and I gotta say I'm not that impressed uh, for one thing there's no barrier between cars and the bike lane so and it's a busy street so I was riding beside cars the whole time so a little terrifying also there's weird things about it like right here there's a security spot uh, for a car and so the bike lane jets out into the car traffic for half a block and then down there comes back in down there so it's a bit weird a bit terrifying but it is nice and wide it's almost a full car lane so all in all I give it maybe a C plus not great but not terrible okay I'm gonna try another one now oh Adelaide there is a section with barriers thank goodness man this feels so much better Hey Toronto, this is much better. So I'm on Richmond now, which is just parallel to that last one, Adelaide, that I was on. And it's like a different world. The bike lane here is separated by a concrete barrier. And a nice concrete barrier. There's art along it, which makes it nice. It's wide and it's continuous. It goes quite far. Uh, so a much improved, this is the kind of bike lane that makes me feel way more safe riding it. I didn't even think about getting run over <laughs> when I was on this one. There were a few patches with construction and some weird bollards and pylons in the middle of the path i don't know why but you know that's life um anyway this one's great so two different worlds of bike lanes uh i'm gonna keep going and check out some more one thing i've found frustrating so far is a lack of connectivity which can be a real killer when you're trying to get somewhere on a bike uh, these bike lanes are pretty nice but two or three times now the bike lane has just ended and i've had to pull off on the sidewalk and pull up my phone to figure out where i'm going so that combined with the lack of wayfinding makes it pretty tough. So connectivity, wayfinding, not great. So this is University. It was recommended to me by a couple of people. So it's a really busy street. There's like six lanes. There are nice, pretty wide bike lanes on both sides going in either direction. And what's interesting here is that it's basically made up of just paint and some plastic poles, plastic bollards. And this is not ideal, of course. You really want a separation to keep cyclists and motorists safe. But this does show that you can do things on the cheap if you want to try them out. It doesn't take a huge investment from the city to make this kind of thing happen. And I felt pretty safe riding it. You know, I would have preferred a barrier that's more permanent than these things, but it does a pretty good job and I felt pretty comfortable riding on it. So, hey, if your city is saying they can't afford it, Here's an example of how to do it without spending a ton of money. So this is Bloor Street, another street that was recommended to me. And this one's quite good too, actually. Unlike the, what felt very temporary on the last street, University, this one's got these uh, planters, uh, real concrete barriers. Uh, and so it feels way more permanent. Um, there are some gaps in the barrier here and there. 
which seems pretty common here. I don't quite get it, but there are nice long stretches where you are protected and then long stretches when you're not. So, you know, not great there. But this one feels pretty good. Maybe the best one that I've been on today. So we'll bump this one up to like a, maybe an A minus or a B plus for bluer. Okay, so that's it. That was a very brief look, a super brief look at Toronto and five relatively newish bike lanes. And I think in answer to the question at the beginning, is it possible for a city like Toronto to catch up after losing so many years to doing nothing around bike friendliness? The answer is, yeah, absolutely. Compared to when I was here six or seven years ago, it's completely changed on a bike. I thought I was gonna die last time. This time, I didn't think I was gonna die. Uh, I was able to get around. Most of the lanes are quite good. I felt fairly safe and protected in most of them. So yeah, what a great uh, change. On another level, I'd say Toronto has a ways to go before it becomes a truly bike-friendly city. Um, and I hate to put it in these terms, but what the city lacks is a bit of culture, a bit of bike culture, and I'm not convinced bike culture is a thing. I think biking for in cities is a practical choice, not a cultural thing. But what it lacks here is sort of a friendly vibe towards cyclists. This is still a city that belongs to the automobile. A lot of pedestrians here too, which is great, but it does feel like a car city still. And I think that's just a function of its newness. Uh, cycling infrastructure is new here. So Toronto is a tadpole in a world of bike friendly frogs. So there's definitely room for improvement, but things have definitely gotten much better here. So kudos to Toronto, great work. Keep going forward. And to those of you in cities who think you'll never catch up, you should come visit here. It's already made a huge difference. Thanks for watching. See you next time.